Today, meteorologist Dan Brown, a few clouds this morning giving way to developing sunshine. It's going to turn out to be a fine day today as the sun mixes with clouds throughout the day, but pleasant. It's turning less humid with highs in the low to mid 80s. That'll set us up for a nice night tonight as the breeze diminishes. It'll be a little breezy today, but it's going to add to the comfort of the day. And by morning, we're going to be down into the lower 60s tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll start with the sunshine. The clouds do increase in the afternoon. It'll become more humid as the day goes on. Then late afternoon, evening, we'll have some showers and downpours, perhaps a few embedded thunderstorms as an area of low pressure in a front head our way. We're not expecting severe weather, but it will get unsettled for tomorrow evening through the first half of tomorrow night. That should end before Friday morning, and then we're turning less humid on Friday. Looks like a nice day, lower 80s. And the weekend right now, it looks, uh, it looks decent. I think most of Saturday is dry in terms of rainfall, but Saturday evening into Saturday night, we could have a period of rain with some embedded thunder, but it looks like that's gone by Sunday. All right, let's check on today's top stories. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Dan. I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. One person is seriously injured after a two-car crash in Palmer last night. According to police, around 9.30 p.m., a car crossed over the center line of Ware Road, hitting an SUV head-on. The driver of that car was med flighted to Bay State Medical Center with serious injuries. The driver and three children of the other car were taken to the hospital, but are expected to be okay. Ware Road was closed for hours overnight as Palmer police were investigating. It is now reopened. A single ticket in Florida matching all six numbers in last night's Mega Millions drawing, winning an estimated $1.58 billion. Now, if that winner decides to take the lump sum payment option, it'll take home about $783 million before taxes. Seven other tickets sold across six states for last night's drawings won millions of dollars as well, winning numbers 13, 19, 20, 32, 33, Mega Ball 14. A Springfield man was arrested in connection to a weekend home invasion Saturday morning. Police officers responded to that on Fremont Street. According to police, 47-year-old Edwin Rowland broke into an apartment, pointed a gun at someone, and stole an undisclosed amount of cash.